Death on the Nile is finally here. But the ultimate question is, was there enough champagne to fill the Nile? That I, I don't know. Um, I think you guys will have to answer that. But what do I think of the movie itself? I thought the movie was fantastic. It is another great movie from Kenneth Branagh, who I'm a, a fan of. He's directed some great movies. Um, I still need to check out some of his other movies, like Belfast. Um, for the most part, the cast was also really good. I adore the style, how everything looked, the direction of it. It all culminates to such a great film. And that's what I love about Death on the Nile. In my opinion, the weakest aspect of this film comes from Gal Gadot. I, not that she gives off a bad performance, but I just didn't fully connect with her that, that much with, with the other cast members. I think part of the, th the same could also be said with Army Hammer, who caused a lot of drama. It was like, y yeah, for those of you who've been living under a rock, exactly a year ago, there were sexual abuse allegations against Hammer, and the this led to an investigation that brought the attention of, of the LAPD, and is one of the reasons why, um, or maybe... Might it may be, be the reason why Death on the Nile hasn't gotten press tours, or why it didn't get any press tours, and why he was absent for most of the promotion and the marketing. But I I didn't think he gave off, gave off a bad performance. Everyone else. I, I, every, everyone else's performance I adored um, I think there are several people who just stole the show for me like of course there's Kenneth Branagh's R.Q. Poho uh, it's like the best version of the character and Branagh plays it so well There's also um, Tom Bateman's character, Boke. I, I really enjoyed his performance. As well as Annette Benning, um, Lita Wright, uh, Rose, uh, Rose Leslie. There's also Jennifer Saunders. Strangely, like every time when she talks, all I could just have in my head is just Fairy Godmother from Shrek 2. But I think one of the main people who stole the show for me was Emma Mackey. Holy crap. She did a great job in this movie. And, I, and when she made that entrance like with that red dress, I just thought to myself, damn, she looks beautiful. Or, no, no, I didn't say that. I was like, like, um, my brother was watching this to me, and I just, like, went over, and I was like, like, man, she looks good. And boy, oh boy, she does. With that red dress, her, how her hair looks. Gosh, she's, she's such a great actress. Now, what about the suspense? I think... They definitely ramped up the tension and everything from the previous film, Murder on the Orient Express. Which, when you compare it to Death on the Nile, to me, um, Death on the Nile is an improvement over Orient Express, which I already really like. There are more murders in this, which already shows, like, okay, this is a bigger crime than what was on the Orient Express, which was just one murder. Second, the, the many twists 
and stuff. Like, I didn't really know what, what was going to happen, which characters were going to die, who would have been the cause of it. Like, for example, I did not expect Gal Gadot's character to die off that early. Nor did I expect Army Hammer or Emma Mackey to die at the end, shooting themselves. I also didn't expect Tom Bateman or the Leslie, um, or, um, Rose Leslie. <laughs> like, because, like, I don't know the story... Like, prior to this film, I didn't know the story of both Death on the Nile or Murder on the Orient Express. Let me, let me, Murder on the Orient Express, like, I saw that almost a year ago. But, you know what I mean. I didn't read the book, so I went in there blind for this one. I think the one that surprised me the most out of the five murders was Tom Bateman's character getting killed. That gunshot that happened, I was just, like, shook, like... That that really caught me off guard. I don't know what else to say. Death on the Nile is really good. Even if it has a problem um a controversial lead actor and well, even if it has that, I think this movie still is a really great one to watch. So yeah, if you haven't seen Death of the Nile, go to your theater and see it. I think it, it is a great improvement over Murder on the Orient Express, and, and it should be seen for everyone. Oh, wait. I, oh, I forgot to mention something. The score slaps. Patrick Doyle did a great job with this. I, I also really loved his score he did for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, so I knew that putting having him in this one was going to be cool.